one comment, I don't want to belabor that, I want to be very brief, but it relates clearly to the issue of training and I think the key, that's my phone. Um, the key is that to the people that we're talking about, that is the clinicians, the patients, the trainees, they need to believe in this, they need to really have sort of feel a compassion in, in actually making this happen. One of the things I think that for genetic counselors and medical geneticists is to bridge uh, and straddle whatever it means is to take a look at clinical decision support that is sort of um, you, you know linked with the electronic medical record and there's a whole um, group of people that is very very involved in this and I think one of the areas uh, that we need to be uh, concerned about is moving away from, um, you know, having an individual session of counseling patient to patient to a uh, more computer delivered uh, message that is an, an interpretation that is sort of in sophisticated, advanced, and uh, I think the key word is uh, comprehensible clinical decision support. I think that the way we view it. Is, is, is sort of the probably most direct entry into the broader clinical world. It has to go through the EHR. I think we all recognize this. I don't want to uh, you know, talk too much about this, but in, in the sense of engaging the expertise that we have here and focusing in some form of a group on clinical decision support and how do we actually communicate these kind of complex uh, subject matters in a way uh, that it can be delivered in a very effective, comprehensible message, both to the physicians and then ultimately to the patient. And I think if we can break down that barrier or make some, or have some success in some key areas, in some demonstration projects, I think that will really help bridge uh, that gap. And I'll leave it at that.